Hello, good evening everyone. My name is Anthony Chidi Namchi. I am here to present our application titled Farm Fund. This project is an app built for the interest of farmers in the rural areas in Nigeria, Enugu State and Neke to be precise. This app has so many features, but right now we have built it up to the MVP. And I'm here to present to you the features of this MVP. First of all, the landing page is this home page. As you can see it has the introductory part. Through this home page, you can also access the sign up page, which is get started. Or you can find a farm. This farm is you can find a project. You can access the project, you can access the sign up page through this um home page. Also, you have different projects which can lead you to individual profiles of different farmers. This profile is made up of the farmer's name, the description of the kind of farm, the amount or what the person needs to get his farming going. Then the amount that is able to he has been able to raise through sponsors as investors the amount that people have already invested in his farm amount remaining and you now see the progress bar that will state the the percentage of the realization of the funds or equipment he needs in his farm if you click each profile it will take you to the individual profile for instance, this Okoro fish farm, if I click on it, it will take me to Okoro fish farm. After that is the testimonial, people testifying to the benefits of what they have gained through farm fund, a kind of review. Then we have the place for our partners, people that are partnering with, with us in the project, and you have the footer. The footer will comprise the the user guide as the smooth and friendly user interface that's the guide where you get to know everything the manual for this website you have 24 hour support as the chat app where you get support either through through live chat through email or other platforms that we provided you have online payment gateways through here, you get your payment. If you are an investor, you can invest through online, through this. You can pay into the organization's account through this platform. Then you have Farm Fund, which also will direct you to the homepage. For now, currently, the MVP does not include these three features. That's the smooth and friendly user interface. It does not include 24-hour support. It does not include get payment gateways. Also included here is the short story who we are quick links and contact us that's about the the organization about the teams and how you can work with us whether a farmer a consultant or an investor the quick link will provide you with the login page if you select here it will take you to the login register will take you to the get started page that's the sign up page then project will take you to the project a page then contact here you will see the contacts of the organization the email address and the phone numbers that you can contact for easy access then the bottom part of the the footer we include the social networks you have the twitter the facebook the instagram and the, the Email. These four platforms have not been included in this MVP. They will still be worked on. Now coming to the, the menu bar, you have the icon and the menu, that's the home menu, you have the dashboard menu, you have the about us menu, you have the contact us menu, you have the projects menu, you have the login menu and the get started menu. Then you have the search bar. Of all these menus, these are the menus that this 
projects will comprise of. Of all these menus, the ones that are functional now is the Home, Dashboard, Projects, Login, Get Started. About us, contact us, and the search bar has not really been included in the project. Subsequently, they are going to be included. Also, this icon, when you select it, it can still take you to the home page. This home page, you click it, it takes you to the home page. Dashboard can only work if you are logged in as a user. If you are not, if you don't have an account, if you select the dashboard, it will still take you to the home page. You will not have access to the dashboard. You can only have an access to the dashboard if you are a user, either a farmer, an investor, or a consultant. About us, for now, if you select it, it will take you to the home page because we have not included a story about the company. Contact us. If you select it now, it will take you to the footer where you can get the contact address of the company. It will be fully functional when we have included this 24-hour support where you can easily contact the company. Now, the project menu, when you select it, it will take you to the page where all the projects of every user, every farmer is displayed. You get to assess every farmer. And each one you select, this project here is the same, will be the same as the one that is appearing on the home page. It will be the same thing, similar, it's the same thing exactly with the projects appearing on the home page here. Are the projects parts of the home page? You see, it's the same thing. So if I select any one of these farmers here, it will take us to the farmers page where you get information about the farmer, the amount, the pictures displaying his farm and the things that are in the farm, about the project, updates. The update has not been included. It's only the, about the project that has been included. You get information about the project. And updates will include the things that have been done so far. But because there is no farmer yet, the update is not functional. You also get reviews. To review, add your comments, a review about the farm, and the review, uh, component, uh, review components. Then you have similar projects that will still give you the, the say, every other project in the app or every other user or every other farmer per se in this project. Now, it is the same with every other person who check as a farm and so on and so forth. Apart from this, you have a platform to sign up. Sign up as a farmer, sign up as an investor, or sign up as a consultant. There's something I forgot to say in this project. Here, you can select to fund this farm if you are interested. If the story is captivating to you, you can be as a consultant, as a, a as an investor, you can decide to fund this project. If you select it, it has not been included. It's supposed to be that if the payment gateway has been included, anytime you select fund this project, it will take you to the payment gateway you pay and it will be included in this amount raised. You also can offer consultancy if you have logged in as a consultant. You can offer your consultancy, select this place, and you will include your details or your name as a consultant for this person. Now we'll go to the get started part. You will include your first name. For instance, myself, I want to sign up. My name is Anthony. My last name is Namchi. My middle name is Chidi. My phone number, I am going to use, I think I've signed up with these phone numbers before. But nevertheless, I'm going to use plus 
131822. Your phone number must be up to 10 digits for it to work. Then your email address. I'm going to select info at farmfund.com. My address Bazangu extension Kuba Abuja Nigeria Password Your password must be more than six digits. It can accept numbers, it can accept letters, both capital and small letters. But it must be more than six digits. Let me select one, two, three, four, five, six. C. Confirm it. Your confirmed password must match your original password. One, two, three, four, five, six. C. Then you select any of these parts, either a farmer, a, an investor, or a consultant. If you don't select any of this, you will not be you will not be signed up. If I select pharma, if I mistype any of this or I miss any one of them, let's assume I didn't feel first name and I click create, it will require you to fill in the field of first name. Let's assume I didn't enter the last name. I select it, it will tell you to fill the first name field, the last name field I meant, which is Namchi. If the phone number is not up to 10 digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If it's not up to 10, it will tell you, let's see, input field might be wrong, so you cannot be signed up. But if it is complete, 17131822. And your email address is not correct. Say, please include an at in the email address. If I click put an at, and my password does not, is not in confirmation, my confirmed password is not in confirmation with my original password, it will tell you passwords do not match. So it must match. User created successfully because I've entered the correct details. Now my email address is info at fanform.com. My password is one to six C. Now I can log in. Remember that when I was not logged in, if I click dashboard, it will take me to home page. But if I log in with the details I have entered already, info at fanford.com and 123456C and log in to take me to the dashboard. You can see it at the top dashboard. If I select dashboard now to bring me here, if I go back to home page, select dashboard to bring me. And the welcome message will be hello, your first name, your last name, and welcome to Farm Fund. We are happy to have you in our team and we look forward to working with you. Feel free to contact us at any time. Then it will give full information about the user, whether the person is a former a consultant or an investor. And that is what it is. If I log out now, it will redirect me to login page. If I log in again with another user, uh, what's the password bad? This is a different email address, but the same user details. If I want to log in and 
I type a wrong password, what will be the message? Invalid parameter. What if I have a wrong email address? What would it tell me? Please include an at in the email address. What if I include an at, return an endpoint, is incomplete? Invalid parameter. Because the email does not exist. I put it complete yahoo.com, still invalid parameter. If I put it this way, invalid parameter. So that is how this app works for now. This app is built with React.js. React is a JavaScript library that inculcates HTML, JavaScript, and CSS as one. Thank you for listening to us. Do have a wonderful day.